that for a beautiful brown trout. Yep, first one from Matty. That must be, must be, it's over a foot long that. Must be 12, 14, I reckon 14 inches. Beautiful looking fish. Absolute gorgeous Welsh mountain tine fish. So I'll show you the setup tonight. I'll show you again it morning it light. So we've got an airframe built there, a bipod. Yeah, running down, pegged in ground. And then we've got the DD 3x3 hammock hanging off that. Underneath here, I've got my DD mesh tent. Yep, which is. Uh, all set up there, yeah, looking good. And then inside, dead simple. We've got a mountain equipment mat. I've got my uh, snug pack Elite Three bag, and I've got a really fancy state-of-the-art pillar here. Which these are the business. I don't know if you've ever used them before, but they're ace. That one must be well old. Yeah, no, it's just a dry bag. We are, we are burning it. But it's a brilliant pillar. That's my pillar. None of this uh, fancy malarkey. That does the job for me. Stuff a couple of jackets in that. You spur kegs. And I'm laughing. So yeah. That's my set up. For tonight. Room for me pack to sit under the tarp there. Loads of room. That's uh, thanks to Simon that. So it's first out in Simon. So Simon, one of my subscribers. It's, uh, he's an ex-army lad. And that was him when he was in forces. That was his bag. So anyway, he's donated that to the channel. So thanks, Simon. I'm sure it's going to come in good use. So there we are. Matty's trout. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Cooked up to perfection. Hey, Let's get a piece of that. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, nice that, Matty. Yeah, it's good stuff. Matt uh, what else have we got in there? We've got um, mince and dumplings. Look at that. Ho 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 ho. Blimey neck. Eating well tonight. Hey up, no wrong with that. Brilliant. Eating all the fucking trout, mate. It's big in, mate. It's all good. It's like your fucking jerky all over again. Yeah. You're disappearing. <laughs> Remember that bag of jerky? Yeah. It didn't last long, no, did it? didn't last long. <laughs> it was nice though, weren't it? Mm. I'm yeah. looking forward to getting some more of that venison in. Yeah. Have you nailed it all yet? Um, I've still got a, a bit of mince and a bag of, um, of stewing meat as well. We had, we had a stew the other week up to uh, Lock Dunn, mate. Oh, yeah, Matty made one. Yeah, 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 it was good. Yeah? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. That Welsh fellow deer were immense, though, weren't he? Oh, mate, yeah. Yeah, definitely want to get all the small of that. Uh, yeah, but Matty's beef one was, was bloody great, like. Yeah, yeah it was Yeah, it looked on. good.
Yeah, yeah it's not running. Not, not seems to keep the stone quite hot, doesn't it? Mm. Hey, it's been a great day in the Welsh mountains. Absolute beautiful spot here. Yeah, bit of fishing. I had a couple of poles. I uh, had one on, but it got off right at the bank. It followed the lure in and hit it just as I were bringing it out and then shook its head and managed to get off. We've been sat around the fire eating some good food, listening to the owls. It's a fantastic spot. You can't hear anything apart from the, the owls. The animals in the distance and the odd little breath of wind through the trees. Yeah, can't beat it. Anyhow, tomorrow should be a good adventure. We're setting off up into the mountains to go to another lake. It's uh, the deepest one in Wales. Yeah, it's about uh, 73 metres deep. Right up here in the mountains. So we'll do a bit of fishing. Maybe catch an Arctic chow. A nice brownie would be for me. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning. Hey, happy St George's Day from beautiful Wales. So I'm an Englishman, I'm St George's Day and I'm after catching some Welsh brown trout today. Yeah, so what a fantastic night anyway. Brilliant. Don't know if you noticed my rucksack last night next to the tent. Honestly, middle of night, something ran into my rucksack. Something, uh, an animal of a decent size. It must have been in its spot where it usually walks and it ran into my rucksack at a decent old pace. Must have, <laughs> must have crapped itself and then legged it off. But uh, the rucksack were right next to my head, so it woke me up, but it was funny. But uh, anyway, what a fantastic night. Uh, the owls, oh mate, honestly, brilliant owls in trees above us hooting. It was like listening to a chorus of uh, someone on a penny whistle flute as well. Some of the uh, some of the calls and the cries last night from the birds and the uh, wildlife in the woods it was absolutely brilliant. Anyway, happy St George's Day. Let's see if we can catch some fish today. Leave only flat and grass.
Right, so we're heading up over the pass and we're heading down to uh, Lynn Cowlid, which is the deepest uh, water in North Wales, or is it all Wales? Uh, North Wales, yeah. Yeah, so it's about 73 metres deep or something like that. And we're going to have a fish down here. A few brownies, maybe Arctic char, did you say, Matty? Yeah, there's some Arctic char. Yeah. In there, yeah. So Matty's got his pack raft as well. So we're going to get out into some deep water and see if we can hook uh, an Arctic char. Behind us is where we were fingers fishing crossed. last night. Yeah, yeah. fingers crossed. Behind us down the other side was where we were fishing last night and uh, so it's great to get up and over here and uh, see another water. That's uh, where the lake is at the base of that ah. steep valley in the distance. So if you look over here, so we're looking that valley over there where it drops off here, that's where the lake is. So we're heading down there. So yeah, beautiful day, bit of a a bit cloudy at the minute, but it's going to be a warm one, I reckon. Yeah. So, fingers crossed for some fish, yeah? Well worth the six and a half K walk over it to uh, mountains. What a stunning place in Link Cowling, absolutely stunning. So glider phone, glider fan in the background. Yeah, what a beautiful place and we've got it all to ourselves, haven't we Matty? It's absolutely amazing here. Quite tough terrain this, bit of graft, but I've cut along slightly above the side of the lock of the lake as we're going to Scotland too much. <laughs> I'm going to cut along just above the side of the lake, drop down at the bottom then and cook a bit of dinner. It's about that time of day. Quite a few white caps down there now. I don't know whether it's going to suit Matty's pack raft or not. This way and what have you. The fish are down this bottom end, but I mean, I'll be honest with you, it'd be nice to catch, but I'm not bothered. Just been out here hunting for trout, covering this uh, this ground. It's what it's all about. It's what it's all about. Absolutely. 
epic place. Get it down here. Yeah, makes you speechless, I'm telling you. Yep, yeah, even a gov shite like me who could talk for England. Makes you, makes you speechless, honestly. I love it. has a go but uh, yeah it's a bit wild I tell you what it's gonna be a 20k day today you know what I mean 11 12 mile maybe maybe more than that a bit of a mission and uh, some graft but it's fantastic so proper getting ready for some bagging now I'm gonna find a decent spot down there I think I'm gonna get a bit of dinner on me even before I start doing any fishing get some scram on and a brew So we're all down behind a big rock, this big boulder trying to find a bit of shelter from the wind. And uh, got a bit of a bit of corn beef ash on the go there. So uh, be a bit lighter walking out. Yeah. So, uh, there's a fair house swell coming down here. As you can see. So it's not really fit for pack rafting. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and it'd be a cold dip in there today. So we're going to get a bit of this scram down with next and then we're going to probably try and fish up this other bank here and uh, it's a beautiful place on this corner it should be a good holding area for fish with all the blowing all the nutrients down down river and you've got an inlet coming in here the river's running in here so it should be a great spot but the conditions are not brilliant but it's always worth a chuck Far off that. We're, we're just having dinner down here. More shabbat in the distance there. Cast the lure from the top. <laughs> Maybe not. 
Definitely a wild day in the Welsh mountains. Beautiful. But yeah, too wild for fishing up here. We're going to head to uh, the same place where we were fishing last night. So, we'll mission back though. I say it's a good, uh, good distance today. But yeah, we'll get down there, it's a bit more sheltered. What's the feed, Matty? What's the feed? Hello. <laughs> oh, I mean, hey. This is the man there behind us. Oh, that's cool. Go get your mum. Go to your mum. Go on your mum's that way. That's a new bone, that is. Come on, mum. Come over here. There, spot on, reunited. Look at this place. Hey, we like to go in there in a dark, stormy night with rain running on that tin roof. So the end of another great trip and uh, yeah what a great little trip it's been thanks to matty for inviting me over to his sort of uh, his sort of big playground up here where he does his fly fishing and his uh, hunting for trout and everything else and uh, so it's been great to get up in mountains with matty we've had a good uh, a good day and a half for two days or whatever plenty of fishing plenty of adventuring plenty of wildlife the woods are alive and the dawn chorus this morning was amazing. We've seen all sorts. Yeah, from red kites and peregrines, numerous small birds, uh oh, we've seen we've seen all sorts, it's been fantastic. And uh, so yeah, the sun's going down now behind the mountains over there. Just had the last hour fishing here and uh, and then I'm off back to Blighty. But uh, yeah, what a great trip. So anyway, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again real soon. Alright, ta-da.